This time I'm Mike Noble Digging. The backcountry diggers get back together for another group hunt. This time we go to the old 1800s post office site. This video has it all. Relics, silver, glass, and license plates? Wow. Hey guys, uh, today we're getting the backcountry diggers together and we're going to do a group hunt out there at that old 1800s post office site. Uh, that place is a really cool place. It's, uh, there's a lot of good relics underneath a lot of uh, tin roofing and iron. So uh, hopefully with enough of us out there, we can go through nice and slow and pull some good stuff out of there. So uh, stay tuned, soon we find. Here we go. Well, how you doing, Tom? Good. How about you? I'm pretty good. You don't get to do this too often, do you? Uh, not since the pandemic hit. The pandemic. Man, you wait. In a couple of years, there'll be another one. <laughs> I hope not. How about you guys? You guys get out quite a bit, don't you? Not as much as you like to. <laughs> well, we're going to get out today. We're going to see what we can come up with today. And this is not the full group. There's going to be uh, one or two others uh, coming into this group. So uh, I think uh, Bill will be here. He's just going to be here a little late. My first signal, little 22 bullet. The second signal, a fire lead bullet. Well, I just uh, found a tin. Uh, it's what some uh, prophylactics were in. I, I think there were six of them in this container. I, I can't remember. This is not the Three Mary w Widows one. But this is that one. Whatever it is. And if I remember right, that was uh, 60s or 70s that they uh, made them like that. But, uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's see if we can find something from the 1800s. Well, I have a uh, nice sharp signal here. It's only like 46. Uh, but I have a suspicion I know what it is already because I'm looking over here. Finding things like that. That's uh, porcelain from the inside of a, a canning jar. Now, admittedly, I'm not sure uh, just how high a canning jar rings up. So, we're going to find out if I'm right. Well, I called that one. That's a piece of a canning jar right there. So, now. I know a piece of a canning jar at least rings up like a 46 on the XP Deus. The more you know, right? I have a surface find and it's actually one of my favorite things to find. Preferably on the surface. Oh, check this out. There's a little box turtle. Now, I can't tell if uh, that's a brown eye or a red eye. I think, if I remember right, and I'm hope I'm not saying this wrong, I think the red eyes are males and the brown eyes are females. But one kind of cool thing about this is, uh, look at that shell. It almost looks like it has some uh, western box turtle in it. I'm sure it doesn't. I'm sure it's just an especially vibrant shell. But, uh, Pretty little guy, whatever he is. I'll just leave him lay right there. He didn't bother me, so I'm not going to bother him. But I'm always happy to find him. Caught up to Mr. Tracy here. And he uh, found an oddball thing. 
I don't know what you guys think that is. That iron part looks like it has some uh, gear teeth on, but then it's got some brass parts in there. I uh, I thought it might be like a pipe flue or valve or something or part of one. It just kind of looked like it uh, familiar, like one of those to me, but I'm not sure. It is interesting though. I do not know if I've seen one like that dug up before or not. Leave it to me to find the garbage. <laughs> it's a treasure, buddy. It's a treasure. Oh, and you found a little brown bottle with a lid on it. Wonder what that was. Oh, look, we got a couple of them. We got a blue one, too. Very cool. Those should clean up pretty nice. And you found a weedy. I'm not sure what the year is on it. You have not gotten the date yet, huh? Well, let's see if we can help you out with that. It looks like Tracy's uh, Weedy is in 1944, best I can tell. Even at that, it's not too easy to see it. Well, Tracy had just ran up that way. Not ran, but he starts running up that way, and I, I haven't seen him maybe three minutes. And I think I'll pull the relic out. Uh, not exactly sure if it's relic or trash yet but it looks like it might be so let's check this out right there yeah i'm thinking that's a part of an old compact I think that's exactly what that is I don't dig many of those. I don't dig many of those. I'm definitely happy to find that. And it looks like there's a some something right there, just barely visible, right there. Kind of a circley thing. Yeah, and, and that I could barely hear it, but I thought well, I'm going to dig that and see what it is. I'm glad I did. Very cool. Let's go get another one, or the other side. I just found this little jar on the ground, I mean laying right on the surface, it's got the lid on it. But it's got a, I'm not going to keep it or anything, but I am curious about it. It looks like there's a leaf there, there's a W, and another leaf maybe? Or is that a person's face? I don't know. Anybody know what that is? Uh, it's just curiosity. Just what I know. Look at that. That's cool. That's cool. There's probably a number right there. I still haven't found one of those. I think that's my second one. Is it really? That actually looks like it doesn't have too much to clean up. I bet you could get that one looking nice really easy. I love that, man. It was up there by the old house. Was it? I love that. That is very nice. I just found something cool, and it's identical to one that I found out here uh, uh, a few weeks ago. Actually, pretty much in the kind of in the same area. Chase is here. He, he saw it. Uh, we haven't touched it yet. Right there. A range guide. Boy, that rang up loud too. It rang like silver. You that rang up. Like, it did ring up like silver. But boy, it's it's exactly the same design as the one I dug earlier. Very cool. I like that. Man, I got a pair for my display case. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I like it. All right, so I got a holler. Good old Tom, he's kind enough to hold off pulling this out of the hole. It's in the clump. Until I got up here. It's in a clump? Okay. Uh, so, oh, 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 I do see it. I brushed it. 
back with my pin pointer tip. Sure enough, he's got what well, appears to be a little silver dime. Go ahead, buddy. Please be cool. It's a Mercury. Yep, what year? Oh, it's got that dark color to it. Yeah, I'm not seeing the year yet. I can't see the year. My eyes is bad. <laughs> I'm not bring my glasses. Looks like 1941, maybe? 41. Maybe a 41. Yeah, it's probably about right. All right, well, I'm not sure I'm right about that, so let's get a confirmation on that. We determined that that Mercury was a 1943, so still, that is a cool find, buddy. Tom and I were comparing finds, and uh, he uh, he said, yeah, I got a top of a compact. I said, really? And he said he found it right in this area that we're standing in. It just so happens. No, actually, I found it on the other side. Oh, really? What the hell? Okay. Yeah, earlier. Well, still, it looks like it may fit the bottom part that I found. I found one with a hinge. Yeah, look at that. If it wasn't all bent, look at that shape. That's the whole piece. Yep. It does look like uh, they went together at one point, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. What does that say right there? Can you make that up? No, we'll have to clean it up. And... It almost looks like a GW, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is George Washington makeup company. <laughs> <laughs> Things you didn't know, right? <laughs> Let's say something. I don't know what it says. All right, well, can't quite make that out. But I thought that was cool. Very cool. Wow. This is the first time I got to see Bill. That's a pretty good shape. He's out here with us. He's checking out uh, a D. I didn't even look at the mint mark. So so that uh yeah, it was about Denver. uh it's a Denver mint mark on that nineteen uh, forty three Mercury. Well that's cool, I didn't even think to look for that. How you doing man? I'm doing good, how are you? Sweating my uh Yeah. We, yeah, we are. <laughs> it's so rich and black, it's good to the coins, ain't it? Uh, this is something Gene found? Yeah. First State, Delaware. 19? 1967. That's in really good shape. Yeah, Look at that color. It's really like Really good shape. Like that's, porcelain. That's, See, I was born in 67, so we know it's not old. We know it's a very young plate. That's why it's in such good shape. Because oh. I'm not old. Oh, really? No. This seemed like a thousand years ago to me. Oh, now, come on. <laughs> Man, that's in good shape. I can't believe that. Uh, Tracy comes over, he says, mine's older. Uh, he got one. He said it's in pretty good shape, too. But his is from South Carolina. Oh, that is awesome. Oh, that is. Look at that. 1970. His is not older. Mine's older. Oh, 1670? 1970. Oh, it's a centennial. It is. Centennial tag. <laughs> this is the year it is, though. Smart Alec. <laughs> 300 years. That is, that is in good 300 shape. 300 years old, ain't it? That's <laughs> worth cleaning up there and hanging on your wall, Tracy. That is in very good shape. Yeah. Man, those plates are just coming out of here today, aren't they? And uh, you said you uh, got a couple of uh, wheat scents? Yeah. Gene? Yeah, yeah a couple of wheat scents. Silver, and you found this. Silver Memorials. A sinker. <laughs> pretty marble. It's got little blue turquoise swish, uh, swishes in there or something. It's pretty. Got that wheat got thingy. some um, bubbles in there. You got one Wheatie? No, I got two of them somewhere. 1940, is that 44? Yeah, I got a 44 and a 47. And this is 47, huh? Yeah. So you got a couple Wheaties. Got a nickel. Got a nickel. And some memorials. And a marble. 
in the sinker. Wow, I don't believe I just uh, dug a very iffy signal. And it turns out, it's another, I think it's another Delaware plate. And it looks like it's in good condition. Uh, oh, Tom's already starting to pull it out here. That's nuts. That is crazy. Just trying not to damage it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, there it's it is. It says Delaware shit. right there. There's one in. It was just like a day for uh, old license plates. Can you slide that out? Look at that. It is in good shape, too. Oh, man. Does it say 68? Looks like a 68. 68. 68. But it's a sticker over it. If I'm not mistaken, you peel off that sticker, there was a... Like a, a lot of plates, you know, that'll... Uh, yeah. Might have a... A printed one on there is what I'm trying to say. Painted number under there, huh? Yeah, because this sticker's peeled some on this uh yeah, and that does have a number on it. it has Ooh, something look at that it. number peeling off of it. Ooh, How that was stamped on there. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. I mean, it, it, that's weird. I mean, we hit this place uh, how many times? And none of these have come up. And now we have three really good plates that have come up. Salvageable. Well, there you go, buddy. Cool. Your dad gave me one. I'll let you have that one. Thank you, thank you. Yes, sir. I think that's awesome. So Tom just pulled that uh, 1968 label off. There's a 1964 one, and it's still a sticker. <laughs> 1964. What, what's kind of significant about about that date? I Means this plate was around when they discontinued silver currency. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> and what did you just find a little while ago? Silver currency. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool. Tom? Uh huh? You are the only one that got silver today. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, about the time. I wanted, but it's the silver I'll take. <laughs> it's been a while for you. Oh, yeah. It's oh, been wow. a while. Congratulations. It's been a while since he was out here detecting. That's true. That's true. He's got and you got that really cool iron. I still haven't found one of those. Gene, I guess you and Tom got some Wheaties. Bill, you Or Tom, uh, yeah, no, Thank Tom you got Wheaties. You got, yeah, you got Wheaties. I didn't mean Bill. Tom didn't get Wheaties. He got silver. Yeah, Tom got Tracy got a Wheaties. Tracy got Wheaties? Yeah, he did, didn't he? And I didn't get any coins, but I got some cool stuff, so. I'm, Got that second range guide out of here. That cool looking thing. It was fun. I think we're going to call it a hunt. So I hope you enjoyed that video. We have fun on this one. Boy, it got hot though. It was fun. Well guys, that's it. That's our hunt. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we actually had quite a bit of fun. I probably should pull the camera out a few times on uh, some of the things that we we're uh, conversating about but uh, uh, we found some pretty cool stuff and we enjoyed ourselves and it's just kind of a hot and humid day and well hey you know we haven't had too many of those this year and the year's almost half over so um, you know we're due to have some we really enjoyed it guys I hope you did too until next time we'll catch you later bye